Hey, good morning. Uh, today, the um, activities that we're going to have is it's supposed to be a work, uh, presenter workshop, but I realized that uh, in our latest attendance list, the number of students who enrolled in this class is only 31 students. And therefore, if we compute the uh, uh, schedule for the eight minute presentation that will be held uh, after our activities in this week, uh, it's probably enough for two weeks slot where in Monday we have five presenters and then in Thursday, uh, 11 people could uh, talk about their topic. And therefore, uh, since there are 16 students that can uh, present their topic uh, in the week, then the allocation for eight minutes presentation could be done in two weeks instead of three. So uh, it means that we could postpone the presenter's workshop until Thursday, case, and we could uh, deal uh, more on the next topic, which also part of the uh, syllabus, which is how we import citation uh, that we can use from other applications or or we could also do it manually. Uh, but before that, I would like to ask whether in the class we have Hassan Mustafa. Oh, sorry, uh, Hassan Mustafa. Do we have Hassan Mustafa in the classroom? Okay, uh, we have wait a minute. Okay, do we have Muhammad Rafli in the classroom? Okay, do we have Jihad Fahri in the classroom? Okay, no, no Jihad or Hassan or Muhammad Rafli? in the classroom. Do we have Chiska in the classroom? And then do we have Pilar Subbakti in the classroom? Okay. Uh, so since there are no response from the five uh, students that supposedly enrolled in this class, uh, probably the time for our presentation could be less than uh, than two weeks for the eight minutes presentation. So, uh, but nevertheless, well. Actually, what I am going to do is basically to count everybody who actively uh, enrolled in this class so that for the final presentation that will be held in April the 11th, uh, probably don't need this too much time uh, for you to, uh, to, to locate for student presentation. Uh, 
and therefore uh, we could add some we could add some uh, additional materials such as how to create a cover letter and CV uh, in one of the time slot for the class. So instead of allocating the whole three weeks for student presentation, if, the, if we only have, for example, 28 or 27 students, it will basically reduce the amount of time that we could have for the final presentation. However, for the eight minute presentation, uh, I think it is better for us to allocate for two weeks, uh, starting next Monday uh, to, okay, uh, we could use next Monday for student uh, eight minute presentation where five students is going to uh, talk about their uh, topic. And then in Thursday, uh, we're going to have 11 students. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to, okay, I, I'm, just, I'm going to remind uh, everybody who haven't signed their attendance in the uh, SIX website to do so before the time is over. So in this part of lecture, talking about how we import citation or how we import the um, references that we need for our paper, we could use several uh, applications. And what I'm going to introduced to you here is not focusing too much on the reference management system, but also tools, other tools that may benefit us in terms of writing a paper or designing a presentation slide. And since uh, the thing that I'm going to show you today is a YouTube video. So therefore, I would like to stop the recording so that it will not infringe the copyright of the, uh, of the original creator of the video. <laughs> 